News now from Britain, where the government suspects that China is behind a massive data breach that involves its Ministry of Defense. China has described the suggestion as fabricated and malicious slander. Now, the UK Defense Minister briefed the House of Commons and stopped short of naming China, while Prime Minister Rishi Sunak asserts that malign actor is behind the cyber attack that hit the British Defense Ministry and asserts that his policies towards China is robust. For reasons of national security, we can't release further details of the suspected cyber activity behind this incident. However, I can confirm to the House that we do have indications that this was the suspected work of a malign actor, and we cannot rule out state involvement. Generally, if you look back to our integrated review, I set out a very robust policy towards China, uh, which means that we need to take the powers uh, which we have done to protect ourselves against the risk that China and other countries pose to us. They are a country with fundamentally different values to ours. They're acting in a way that is more uh, authoritarian at home, assertive abroad. According to reports, defense computer system containing personal details of military personnel have been compromised. The target was apparently a patrol system containing details of serving personnel as well as some veterans. The hack targeted the company that manages the payroll for the Army, Navy and RAF members. UK Department has taken immediate action and took the external network operated by a contractor offline. It is said that a very small number of addresses may have been accessed by the hackers as the ministry continues to assess the scale of the hack. The hacking report came at the time when Chinese president was on a two-day tour to France. The latest attack comes less than two months after the UK and US accused China of a global campaign of malicious cyber attacks in an unprecedented joint operation to reveal Beijing's espionage.